everyone, it's Nicole. I'm here today to film my anticipated releases video that I had to make two months ago. So this video is long overdue and I'm not in the mood to make excuses, so let's just jump into it. The books I'm excited about are mostly out in September anyway. The first book is The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo by Amy Schumer. It was out on 16th of August and it's Amy Schumer's memoir. Amy Schumer is a comedian. She is rad. I actually love her so much. I love the movie that she made not so long ago and I love her show. She's so upfront and she has such a bold humor. I love her so much. I think her book is going to be extremely funny and that's what I'm looking for in comedians' memoirs. The next one is a book that had quite a bit of great buzz recently in book community. It's Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova and it was out on September 6th, not so long ago. What I've heard about it makes me extremely interested because it's about brujas, basically witches, and the protagonist is a bisexual Latina, so very excited for it. I heard it is a pretty generic young adult novel, but it has diverse characters, so I'm interested. It's about a girl who comes from a family of brujas and I believe her parents just disappear one day. Very young adult, very typical, but we'll see maybe other elements are making up for it. Then there is a book that I actually heard not so long ago about and I just love the premise, even though it's quite simple. The book is Girl Man's Up by M. E. Grant. It was out also on September 6th. September 6th was a big date in book community. Girl Man's Up is a contemporary novel. I believe it's young adult and it follows a girl that is butch. I don't see a lot of butch representation in fiction and on TV, mostly because queer women are extremely sexualized in media. Producers and directors directors want lesbian or bisexual women to appeal to men as well, so they usually choose femme women to represent queer community. It's not bad, feminine women also need representation, but I rarely see butch women on TV or in books, and that's terrible because it's a big part of queer community as well. So basically it's a book that talks about masculinity in women, and it's about our protagonist that struggles with people seeing her the way she is and accepting her the way she is. The next book sounds a little bit sad, but it's a great concept. It's Sad Animal Facts by Brooke Barker, and it also was out on September 6th. Basically it's a non-fiction book that is complied from sad animal facts. They should be interesting and fascinating, but at the same time, you know, sad. Then there's Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake, which comes out on September 20. I heard bad things about this book actually, but the premise is so interesting to me still, and I don't know really if it's going to be boring for me, because for other people it was boring, but for me it might be just alright, so I'm going to try it anyway. It's a story about three princesses, three sisters that are all eligible for the throne, and all of them have magical abilities. They are in a big competition between each other, because they all want the crown, and it turns out that one of the sisters actually doesn't have the ability that she claims to have. Then there's first like Night, which also comes out on September 20, and it is by Sarah Rush. I love the first book, wasn't a big fan of the second one, but still I invested a lot of time in this series and I want to see how it ends, if the third book is going to be as good as the first one. Green But For a Season by C.S. Paikin. It's a short story collection that is part of Captive Prince series and follows different characters, but the characters that I also love, and it is also out on September 20. I promised myself not to read short stories in this series, but I really want to, and I cannot stop myself. Then there's Crooked Kingdom by Lieber Dugo. It comes out on September 27th, and it promises to be amazing, because the first book was really, really good. She really upgraded her writing from Shadow and Bone series, and I'm excited to see the change. I'm also excited to see the ending to the series, because it's a duology, I believe. I hope so, because I'm very sick of trilogies. I never have the energy to finish them. That's all the books that I'm going to be reading at some point that I'm very excited about. I hope that you liked this video and if you have any other titles that you think I'm going to love or any other titles that you're expecting, write them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you soon in my next one. Bye!